Hello and welcome, it's been a while, but today I can finally release the successor to PewTF-2, PewTF-2. Getting this out took way too long, I completely finished two other universal tree farms in the process of making this, which both turned out to be fundamentally flawed, so I decided to make this here just an instructional video and release a more detailed video about the design process later, because there's quite a lot to talk about. And you guys really seem to like Putif Minus, uh, Doc M even built it on Hermitcraft, which was really cool to see. But Putif Minus 2 is not only smaller and cheaper, but it also fixes some of Putif Minus's uh, major problems. That means it can farm cherry trees, which weren't released back then. And it's not directional, that means you can rotate and mirror it however you want, and it will still work flawlessly, which is really nice. And I also tried to reduce the use of block types, containers and weird rail placements, which should make the build process a little easier as well. Alright, so here's how to use the farm. First of all, you will need a stack of your desired sapling. You can use less, the farm will always return enough, but it's good to have a buffer. And let's say I want to grow oak, so I switch to oak mode, I can turn the farm on already. And now you will have to wait until this flying machine comes down. And after you hear the TNT, you can start placing saplings. So we'll hop in here. You can just press the button or activate this drop down manually. And then you can sneak and start placing against this dispenser. So right now I'm aiming here. But in acacia mode, you can have leaves generating here. That means you will have to aim here. You can switch modes while the farm is on, as you just saw. Just not while placing trees um, or while anything inside here is moving or it will probably break and do not use the wrong tree with this farm or it will break as well. So the items come out here. Right now we have carpet hopper counters, but you can replace this with your storage of choice. And we have a um, bone meal unloader here. So put your shulker chests with bone meal in here and they will the empty ones will come out here. If you decide to build this farm in the overworld, you will need a roof like this tree here in the world download. Because if this sapling here is light level 8 or above, it will get random ticked and the tree can grow at the wrong time, which will break the farm. And also I do recommend that you build it above Y0, because in oak mode, you now you can grow large oak trees that have branches. And the problem is that um, if you grow oak trees below Y0, uh, the height limiter will need to be one block lower um, because it, for some reason it can still grow big oak trees with branches and it will break the farm in oak mode. So another few important things when building this. Um, this farm has slime here and here at the outside so you will need to make sure that there is a non-sticky block or just air or else it will probably break as well. And I highly recommend a while building this farm to place obsidian here or any other immovable block. You can use furnaces, signs, whatever, just so you don't accidentally activate um, these leaf crushers and block pushers. Because if they break, it's it's quite annoying to fix, and we don't want that. Obviously, I speak from experience. Um, so and another thing is, this farm has quite a few butts. For example, this one. If this breaks, it's really bad. If you just activate it normally, it will not break. But if this happens, for example, as you can see, it, it will not go down. So you will need to remove this piston push it back manually and then you can replace it again. And I highly recommend you either build this here first and then extend this piston or just place this piston 
and with all of these as well. For example here, um, if you place this, it will always update this piston and just push it up. Just so you don't activate anything while building. After building, it can happen that this one here ends up in this state. So you will obviously need to check this if it's correct in your schematic verifier and if not, you can just push it down again. And after building, obviously remove this obsidian again. And I recommend doing that after you put in the minecarts. And I will show you now how to put those in. And it's easier to do this while building the farm and not after you build it because you just have a lot more space. Just place it and push it down, place the sign back as easy as that. This one is quite simple as well. Just place it right here, notch it in a bit. It does not have to be precise. If you ever notch it in too far, you can just notch it out a little. And we have another one down here, so we'll remove these blocks. Place a wall here. And push the minecart against it. Remove this. Oh, I forgot to remove the minecart below. That problem is not there if you don't have this minecart in. So, you can then just push the piston back in and place this piston here. And then you have another two here in the Omil unloader, in the shock unloader. These are quite simple. For this one, you just place it like that. And for this one, you just place it on a rail here and notch it in a little. So we have another four hopper mine cards in the back here. And these are also hopefully not too hard to put in. First of all, let me remove all of this, just like that. Now what you can do is you can place a trapdoor here. And so where's my hopper mine card? Here. Let this one drop down. Like that. Now you can place this here, this here. This here. This here. This here back. And drop the second one in. Just like that. Now place this back. Place another minecart here. Place redstone dust here. And remove this redstone dust. Place another minecart here, let it drop down. Place a glass block here and push it in. Just like that. And now you can just place these blocks in here, like that. And you're good to go after you move the obsidian. All right, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video and that this farm will serve you well. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments or DM me on Discord. I will make sure to answer it. And I'll try to uh, release the explanation video as soon as possible. Bye bye and see ya.